Imagine walking along a rocky shore at night, waves whispering secrets, when a shadowy shape scuttles beneath your feet while, just offshore, a larger armored silhouette glides like a slow submarine. That moment captures a question humans have debated at dinner tables, docks, and seafood markets for centuries. Crab or lobster? They look similar, taste different, and live under the same salty roof. Yet their lives follow surprisingly separate rules. Tonight, we dive beneath the surface to unravel the real differences between crabs and lobsters, not just on the plate, but in biology, behavior, and survival. From how they move and fight, to how they grow, molt, and even taste the world, these crustaceans tell two very different evolutionary stories. By the end of this video, you may never look at a claw cracking the same way again, because what seems like a simple seafood choice is actually a window into millions of years of adaptation, competition, and clever design shaped by the relentless pressure of the ocean, where evolution rewards patience, power, flexibility, armor, timing, and survival instincts daily. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. At first glance, the most obvious difference lies in body shape and movement. Crabs have wide, flattened bodies with legs that extend sideways, giving them that famous sideways scuttle. This design helps them wedge into rocks, dart into crevices, and move quickly across the seafloor. Lobsters, in contrast, have long, narrow bodies with powerful tails built for swimming backward in explosive bursts. Their legs move forward and back, more like a walking tank than a sprinter. Another major contrast is in the claws. Most lobsters carry two large claws, often specialized, one for crushing and one for cutting. Crabs vary widely, with some having equal claws and others wielding one oversized weapon used for defense, display, or dominance. Even their shells differ. Lobster shells are tougher and more cylindrical, while crab shells are broader, acting like shields that protect vital organs from above. These structural differences aren't cosmetic. They reflect how each animal survives, hunts, escapes predators, and claims territory in crowded underwater neighborhoods, where space, food, shelter, and survival depend on form and function every single day below waves. Growth tells another story of contrast. Both crabs and lobsters wear hard exoskeletons, which means neither can grow gradually. Instead, they must molt, shedding their old shell and briefly becoming soft, vulnerable versions of themselves. Lobsters tend to molt throughout their lives, even into old age, growing slowly but steadily over decades. Some can live astonishingly long lives, possibly a century, if they avoid predators and traps. Crabs, however, usually molt less frequently as they age, with many species reaching a more defined adult size. Behaviorally, this affects risk. A soft lobster often hides in burrows for days, waiting for armor to harden, while crabs may bury themselves in sand or remain motionless to avoid detection. Reproduction also differs. Female lobsters can carry thousands of eggs under their tails for months, carefully fanning them with oxygenated water. Crabs often release larvae into the open ocean, trusting sheer numbers and currents to carry the next generation forward. It is a gamble shaped by environment, predators, temperature, seasons, and evolutionary trade-offs that define survival strategies across coastal ecosystems worldwide today still. Diet and intelligence add even more layers. Crabs are often opportunistic omnivores, scavenging, hunting small prey, and even stealing food when possible. Their sideways agility helps them snatch meals quickly and retreat just as fast. Lobsters are more deliberate hunters and scavengers, using sensitive antennae to detect chemical signals in the water from impressive distances. 
Their brains are small but efficient, coordinating complex behaviors like migration, shelter selection, and claw dominance. Interestingly, lobsters do not taste with their mouths alone. They have taste sensors on their legs and claws, allowing them to explore food before committing. Crabs share some of these abilities but rely more heavily on vision and rapid movement. These sensory differences influence how they interact with bait, traps, and each other. Even in cooking, biology matters. Lobster meat is firm and sweet, especially in the tail, while crab meat is flaky, delicate, and varied, reflecting muscles built for different styles of motion, developed over time through pressure from predators, currents, competition, and changing marine environments that continuously test adaptability, efficiency, resilience, learning, memory, and response patterns today. So crab versus lobster is not a battle of better or worse, but a comparison of strategies. Crabs trade speed, flexibility, and broad armor for agility in tight spaces, while lobsters invest in power, longevity, and sensory precision. Each thrives where the other might struggle. Understanding these differences deepens appreciation beyond taste or price, reminding us that every creature on our plate represents a complex solution to survival. The next time you crack a shell, consider the life behind it. The molt survived, the predators escaped, and the instincts refined by time. Whether you prefer the sweet firmness of lobster or the delicate richness of crab, you are choosing between two evolutionary paths shaped by the same ocean yet carved in different directions. And in that choice lies a deeper story of adaptation, resilience, and the endlessly inventive nature of life beneath the waves. Stories that connect food, ecology, culture, curiosity, and respect for living systems worldwide through science, observation, tradition, storytelling, conservation, learning, humility, wonder, responsibility, and care for oceans, coasts, and future generations everywhere to cherish and protect. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.